what have you been up to? What up? Uh, my name is Marcus White. Uh, my entry point into this work uh, is as a maker, um, as an artist, um, as well as an educator, uh, where I teach screen dance physical practice at Arizona State University, um, and as a curator producer. Uh, that work was initiated in Detroit, where my company White Works is, and uh, my collaborator and partner, Carlos Fun of Fun Photo, really were thinking a lot about the state of dance film and screen dance, and thinking about where opportunities existed to activate creative communities outside of the coast. What does it look like to tell stories, to leverage the resources of community assets, and really think about that as a point of departure, not a thing we just go to afterwards, but like as a point of departure. So really what the Movie 24 FPS project really is aiming to do is one, develop professional quality media content. What we feel, found in the field for dance was that a lot of dancers had, didn't have media samples that were reflective of their work. Um, and sometimes filmmakers also had never worked with dancers. They didn't even have the, the skills or tools to even know what it means to capture dance in the movie body. So we thought, what would it look like if we collaborated and collided and ruptured these kind of worlds together? What would that look like? And so we just continued to think about it as an idea, actually, in 2015. This is a young project. And we initiated our first sample of a movie 24 FPS um, in Detroit in 2016. Um, the idea is that we activate cities, activate local artists um, in their cities, and ask them to rethink or reframe how they see their city, looking at film and looking at dance. So the idea is that it starts in Detroit, but it's expanded, it quickly expanded beyond that because we wanted to also build a national network of screen dance artists. That if you were in Phoenix, Arizona, for instance, but you're from Chicago and you want to work and collaborate, the idea is that we would have a, uh, a, a consortium or a listing of artists, both in film and in dance, that folks could draw on. So that was a very important aim for what we do, um, in addition to creating the pre-professional, oh, excuse me, the professional quality content and activating the local communities and asking them to look at their city a little differently. So that's what we've been up to. Well, it's terrific, it really is. I mean, and it's great to, uh, you know, I, I dare say, because of the Detroit, it's, it had a, clearly an urban feel to it. But how do you, how do you sensitize artists or dancers and choreographers, I should say, filmmakers to this opportunity? How, how, how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I think we first, the cities we select, we first go to where we have networks, where we feel like we have a strong network of folks that we can connect to, um, and then we have community partners and institutional partners to make this happen. Um, and I guess before we jump into that question, it may be helpful to know kind of what the thing is, like how do we, these weekends look like. So basically what happens is that um, filmmakers and dance makers can register for a weekend where they'll be blindly paired with the, a person from another field. Uh, the idea is that we're creating a pressure cooker situation where people have to craft and create work in a single weekend. So they meet at a kickoff event on Thursday. Uh, they meet for the very first time. I think uh, Molly was talking about how she was nervous, she was anxious because she didn't know who her collaborator was, who her partner was. Uh, but that's a very integral part of what we do because we're saying these are people in your backyard that you maybe could potentially work with and connect with. What does that look like? So we facilitate connections in that way. Uh, and so and there have been future collaborations after that. Um, so they meet on that Thursday. They basically have the entire weekend until Sunday in the morning to craft. Um, at that kickoff event, they're also given a prompt. This prompt can be an element. This prompt can be um, a word, um, a sense, for instance, one of the five senses. And they use those two prompts to initiate their, um, their, uh, their process. So for instance, uh, Indigenous Enterprise, which was the Navajo dance group, uh, they worked with Taboo from Black Eyed Peas and other folks. Uh, they were really, they had, they actually selected, uh, we did elements, uh, so earth with fire. And so they actually drew water for theirs. And so they were drawing on their traditional water dances as a point of departure, which was very fascinating. Also thinking about the landscape and what kind of, what kinds of dances or what kinds of styles are presented in screen dance production. So for us, diversity and equity is embedded in what we do. We're saying 
because you mentioned urban, it's like, yeah, why don't we have street dances, urban dances? Why don't we have contemporary, right, ballet? Because those things help shape the reflective of the dance field, if we're thinking about a dance field. And it's important for us to be woke to that, right? Have our, our pulse on, on what's happening in the dance field and to visualize the diversity of bodies, styles, types um, of folks on screen. That becomes very important for us to do that. But anyways, we screened it on Sunday, whatever was created over that weekend. Sometimes it works, they're like, yeah, we got it. Sometimes it doesn't work, like, you gotta come back to us. Um, but we try, to, we try to incentivize it by having an audience choice where people bring out their family, their friends, their cousins, whoever. So you can really activate a local community saying, this is what we worked on this weekend, and this is what we have to show for. Um, and they get to select their favorite films. Uh, those two films um, in a city are then distribute the idea for us too, beyond that, is we distribute those films to dance festivals, uh, film festivals and dance film festivals. So that again, they can take their, uh, expand beyond